Hey everyone, Frank the Tank here. On this Let's Be Frank, we're going to be taking a look at The Long Drive. If I'm being honest, I didn't expect to have this one ready so soon. I just picked this game up a few days ago. But because of the procedurally generated nature of the game, I've already seen just about everything there is to see. So, let's take a peek. What we have here is a procedurally generated game with modular cars. Each of the cars can be divided into the different parts, and they're relatively easy to maintain. There are five current models of cars in the game, and the parts are relatively interchangeable, though they don't all fit in the right location. There's also a bus and a moped in the game as well. The system is limited but extremely functional, and actually quite a lot of fun. There's also a degradation system which will cause parts to eventually rust, forcing you to use a wire brush or cleansers to keep things pristine. One of the most fun and interesting parts of the game, at least for me, was the item manipulation in general. Because of the way objects move in physical space within the game world, it actually makes it a lot of fun to move things around, store items in your trunk, and all of those things. But when it comes to keeping items in your trunk, that's where you might face a problem. The physics system in this game is touchier than anything you've ever seen in Skyrim. While I'd love to tell you this only applies to the rocks that spawn in the middle of the road, it actually applies to your cart just sticking to the road in general as well. Unfortunately, the best word I have for this physics system is unsatisfying. And driving being so central to the game, to have your car feel as floaty as this is, is very, very difficult to play. To make it doubly frustrating, the spawn locations within the game are completely random, so you can have cactus and rocks spawn directly in the middle of the road and landmark locations, the places you're supposed to be reaching on this road, can be way off in the distance or even out of sight. Combined with the other issues, you have a day and night cycle which makes the game even more difficult at night. It's impossible to justify driving at night because you might miss a landmark location, and that's kind of the whole reason that you're driving. Landmark locations, when you're lucky enough to find them, present opportunities to pick up new items like fuel, water, and oil. While the game does seem to have some survival type of elements to it, there doesn't really seem to be any need to actually survive. Instead, your car is really the focal point, keeping it as clean as possible, making sure you top it off with all the fluids that it needs. That's really the main focus of the game, and reaching the end of the road. What's at the end of the road, you ask? Well, normally I wouldn't even touch a spoiler in one of these Let's Be Frank videos, but in this case, the developers haven't added anything to the end of the road. There is 5,000 kilometers of road, and that's it. Everything else in the game is completely procedural, and if you've played for a good amount of time, you've probably seen all there is to see. The developers seem to be currently working on instituting multiplayer within the game, which is very, very buggy, even more so than the original game. I can't say that it's the strongest idea from my perspective, just simply because the base game doesn't really feel all that finished yet, but we'll see where it goes. I love a lot of the concepts they've already added into this game, and it can easily be built on. If they put more structures into the game, a lot more cars, a lot more objects, this game would be a ton more fun. The game is selling right now for $12 on Steam, but it's hard to justify for somebody who's on a budget. Right now, there's not a lot of gameplay for what you get, and there's not really anything to work towards. I would suggest adding this one to your wish list and see if they continue to add to it. If the developers continue to work on it, it might end up being an amazing game. So that's it for this one, everyone. Hopefully this video helped if you were looking into the long drive. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment if you want to. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for checking out the channel. We'll see you next time.